What up? Oh, how's it been? How you doing? Dude, I'm on that Tinder grind, bro. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Hello. Can you hear me? Hey, how's it going? Yo. Hi. Yeah? Yeah. You meet a lot of girls? Um, quite a few, yeah. I've been going through, uh, I've been using Passport. Have you heard of that? Yeah. I've been going around the entire country with uh, Tinder, Passport. Um, met some really interesting girls, really. Some cool people, and I think that there's a few of them. I, I might take it to the next level with uh, a date. A video chat date, but a date. Let's see, I've done Chicago, New York, Dallas, Atlanta, and then I'm gonna do Seattle. I'm get around ready. the whole country. Well, I'm gonna get ready to travel here soon because COVID yeah. and everything's lifting, so I'm just trying to get around, I guess. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous for uh, the dates, not because like of actually meeting the girls, it's more like you just don't know how a, a date online through a video chat is gonna go. What is your favorite like kind of music, like genre? You don't have to name a favorite song, but like what's your favorite genre of music? What's your favorite genre of music? Favorite genre of music. I and mean, what's your favorite like genre of music? It can get a little awkward, I feel like. If you don't keep the conversation going, you're screwed. Yeah, you should hit up, uh, you've been in the, the clubhouse room, the NYU girls roasting tech guys before. Yeah. I feel like if anybody knows anything about virtual dating, like at this time, like, I feel like it's probably that. Paige Stein, P-A-G-E-S-T-E-I-N. Mare Arundel, M-A-R-E, space A-R-U-N-D-E-L. <laughs> Set it up. They can uh, come over here and coach you on it. Just like uh, it's a little coaching lesson? Yeah, exactly. I mean, all right, I'll DM them. I'll be like, sure. yeah. like y'all, I need some help. We get a lot of DM requests. Yeah. This was a very particularly special one from Griffin. He knows that we're the dating experts. <laughs> What's a dating expert? I think we can qualify ourselves as dating experts because we're young, we're in the dating scene right now. Yeah. And we see so many dates facilitated on our Clubhouse show yep. that we kind of know what works and what doesn't. I was kind of telling you guys, like, I've been looking around at other yeah. places. Um, and I've been using like, I just got on Tinder, like Passport, just going yeah. different areas. But it's like a weird dynamic because the pandemic, we've been in, right. literally in it for a year now. Yeah. So I was talking to Nick and I was just kind of wondering like, how do you set that up? Like what's, what's not weird and what is weird? Like are you supposed to eat? Are you supposed to just talk? Are you supposed to like chill and vibe? I had gone like right after quarantine hit. I was at home with my parents. I had been on a couple dates with this girl. It was great. We did a Zoom date, and it was, I was like, this is gonna be so awkward, even though I knew her. And it wasn't, and all we did was like, we had, we like made drinks, and then we like drew something. And what was really nice about like drawing, like having something to do, is you don't have to just like stare at your computer. Right, because that's, that's the biggest thing. Yeah, you're yeah. just like sitting yeah. there staring at it. Have, it feels like, like an meeting. activity to like talk about it too. Yeah, like, have yeah. an activity, yeah. and then you like, we like showed each other what we drew at the end, and it was hilarious, because they were bad. First off, how do you keep it from being awkward? So yeah. it's like, for me, my strategy and what I thought would be best is just make sure the conversation's always going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the second you have the awkward, like, the pause, it's kind of like... Yeah. You know, the vibe is the, immediately lost. The weird, <laughs> yeah. the weird laugh and then the vibe is weird. Yeah. And then you, like, have to struggle to think of something to ask. That's the worst. And it just throws it off. Can you hear me? Yeah, I, I think like when people don't ask questions like and they kind of only talk about themselves, that's kind of like a deal breaker for me. Oh, my bad. Are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> I feel like you're so more like settled down than me. <laughs> you're like over here like, yeah, I got my life together. I feel like my life's so much like, it's so crazy right now. I kind of want to take some notes from you. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll give you my adv advice. I don't know, it's, it's the calm that it, it hides the crazy. Griffin's doing okay. He needs to maybe be a little bit more, have fun with it more. Yeah. He's definitely on the right path. Yeah. Just a few little tweaks to make everything just better. Course corrections. Hey, this is a random question actually, but I just thought of it because um, one of the dogs is next to me, but are you a dog person? I love dogs. Oh, I love dogs. So I always have to ask. I always have to ask. I would say like if I said no, you like that's such a deal breaker in my opinion.